Greetings, my friends. Uh, we live in dark days. Uh, last night's dream slash vision was a very dark dream or vision. This is a very dark background in front of video. I have very little background light because this is a this is gut wrenching. Like the title says, last night's gut wrenching rapture dream slash vision was so horrible it deeply pains me to share it with you. I've had rapture dreams and visions before, many as you know. Never anything like this. And normally a rapture of dream or vision is just exhilarating. It makes you just excited to share it. This makes me feel like the prophets of old. Though I'm not a prophet, I'm the least Christian that's ever lived on the face of the earth. But the prophets of old would get dreams and visions and they would have to share with people and it would it, it would pain them because they knew it was gonna be, be very, very hard and very, very terrible things were coming up, but they knew to do their job. And I, as a slave of Christ, not a prophet of any kind, know to do my job. And I, I have to share with you what I saw last night, like I always have shared with you in the last 15 years in social media. <clears throat> First of all, understand that I always follow the Bible 100%. Anything I tell you is always scriptural. And in the Bible, I know of two times when people saw heaven. One, the Apostle Paul said he or someone that he knows, which we know it's him, was taken up and he saw wonderful things. He was not allowed to describe them, okay? And, of course, John the Revelator saw just bits and pieces of things, not heaven as a whole, the beautiful things that Jesus has prepared for us. He just saw bits and pieces of it. But neither one of them uh, shared heaven expanded. And if they weren't allowed to do it, of, I don't believe anyone today is allowed to do it either. I don't believe anyone that sees heaven in general and sees the beauty and all the things that heaven. I don't believe they're having a, a dream or vision from the Lord. I think it's just some thing. And, and remember, the devil can also plant dreams and visions. So I'm going to lay it out for you. I was with my wife and hanging out like we always do. Uh, we're pretty much hermits. We don't go very many places. And instantly, we were taken away. Praise the Lord. We were raptured, man. And we were taken up into this, like it was like a a, a, a beautiful room that we were sitting in. Because I don't believe that we were allowed to see heaven. But we were, knew we were in heaven. I felt a peace. I felt a serenity, a tranquility, like I've never felt in my entire life. I felt, I just felt so blessed and and, and, and just, just a bright, beautiful, soft light everywhere. And and just waiting to go through that door to get to the gates of heaven. I know they were out there, but we couldn't see them. I don't believe anyone's allowed to see them, or if they are, they can't talk about it. And the Lord didn't show me and say, don't talk about it. So we're up there. But the thing about it was, we were in a small number. It was a small number of people. There were a lot of people. There was a very small number of people in reference to the entire earth. And as we sat there, <clears throat> I wondered, I said, I wondered, can I look down? on the earth and see what's going on. And somehow the Lord allowed me to look through a, a floor of this room we were in, like a, a, a glass area. I was able to look down and see earth. And not just earth, I was able to see the United States because I recognized it very vividly. I've been all over the US to most states. And I looked down and I wanted to see uh, what was going on. I wanted to see how horrible things were. And this is what's gut-wrenching. This is why it deeply pains me so bad. I looked down. The hustle and bustle was the same as it's always been. People were out doing their thing. They were working and they were doing whatever. They were, they were, moms were scared because their babies were missing. Their little ones were missing. People were scared that the graves had been burst open and their loved ones' remains were gone. But people in general were just going to work during the jobs it wasn't this big interruption like so many uh so many uh, clueless christian prophetic teachers today say oh they say you hear them all the time oh when the rapture happens america there's so many strong christians in america that they're going to go and america's going to just fall apart no very few christians adults left america the vast majority of them were left behind with the unsaved and again i always go by the bible and i can prove I've proved endless times in hundreds of scriptures in the Bible that you must repent of your sins after you're saved if you want to go to heaven. And these Christians who are left behind didn't believe me and a few others that preach the truth, and they paid for it, dealing now with seven pure years of hell 
with all the unsaved and it broke my heart it just deeply pained me i thought i wish i could go down there and tell them i wish i wish i could be just like like the the rich you know the, the rich young ruler who just asked please abraham let me warn them let me go warn them he was in hell but i was up in the outskirts of heaven but wanting to go back down and warn those who were left behind the christians that, and these were christians that i knew as well faces of christians that i knew who who I who I knew professed to be strong Christians, faces from Christians uh, who were online from online websites, uh, Christian websites from from people I've dealt with in real and in, in, in personal life, Christians who swore you never had to repent of your sins, and they were all sitting down with everybody else left behind, and they weren't even worried. They were going about preaching, saying the rapture hadn't happened, and because if it happened, they would have been gone. It was a sad, sad heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching, deeply paining experience. I was so happy to be in the outskirts of heaven, to be within, a, I believe, within the opening of that door of that room, <laughs> to praise the Lord, to see all that Jesus had for us, to, to fall at his feet and, and just hug his feet and just thank him for all he did for us as he tells us, welcome, my good and faithful servant, enter in what I've prepared for you. It is sad to know that this is this is the end game i couldn't see the rest of the world but i saw my country and again this is a country that so many christians claim is going to be desolate it wasn't babies were gone <laughs> little ones scads of them and moms were just terrified and grandmas and they're terrified but as far as the adult christians they're all right there and they won't listen i've had other visions of seeing these eternal security believing and teaching christians in hell with their faces popping up like you see little balloons pop up like little blank faces <clears throat> when someone does not put a profile picture they get a blank head with a neck but their faces would pop up on those and i've warned them about it they mocked me they laughed at me they scorned me they won't be scorning me and mocking me and laughing at me when they find themselves in that same dire predicament that i saw them in and then they have to negotiate seven pure years of hell where God's going to tear the world apart, Satan and the Antichrist and false prophet tear the world apart, and very few people will live to the end of that. Billions upon billions upon billions in the world will die grotesque, awful, horrific deaths. All I can do as a anointed watchman and pastor is bring you the truth from the Word of God. All I can do is bring you the dreams and visions the Lord has led in my heart over the last 15 years, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of them. That's all I can do. I can warn you and tell you can't do anything else. I, I can't make you do anything. We're not robots. God gives us all freedom of choice. Like he gave Adam in the Garden of Eden. He always has. He always will. Adam and Eve had the choice. They made the wrong choice. We all have the choice now. We must repent of our sins after we're saved if we plan on going to heaven. That's God's word. It's not my word. It's God's word. And that's all that I can do is tell you. Please don't have, to have don't be left behind and feel a billion times worse than the feeling in my gut right now that I'm trying to warn you about. Please don't do that. Please swallow your pride and repent. Wouldn't it be great just to repent anyways, just to, just, just to be close to Jesus Christ and just draw near to him? He would love that. Don't take your eternity as a roll of the dice and gamble with it. Repent today before your time runs out. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life if you like prayer. Contact me, I pray for you every day. Share this video with everybody you know, have them share it, and so on and so on and so on. It's vital to get this word out. This is this is so vitally important because the rapture is upon us. I love you all. May God bless you. Take care and share. Bye.